Doctors and nurses of Reddit who have delivered babies to mothers who clearly cheated on their husbands. What was that like? Story 1. Newborn had chlamydia. Got it from the mom, obviously. So the mom admits that she was cheating on the dad, because there's no way to explain that one. Except the dad was cheating too, with the other guy's girlfriend. And all four of them had chlamydia, with no idea who had it first. They also had no idea who the actual dad was. That was a rodeo. We now have a Discord. Check out the server in the link in the description. Story 2. When my baby was born, people asked me if her father was Polynesian. Nope, he's a skinny white man. There was no doubt that he was the father. She was born with thick black hair, and she was a big baby, 4 kilograms, and had jaundice, which made her look very tan. The hair fell out, the jaundice went away, she thinned out, and now I have a strawberry blonde haired 2 year old that looks exactly like her papa. But man, if I hadn't known he was the only man I slept with, I would have had some serious doubts. Story 3. When my eldest was born, first he was a boy when we were told it was a girl. And then the midwife's cleaning him up and says, Oh, his hair looks strawberry blonde. Me and my husband are both dark, so that was unexpected. I meant to make a joke and say, Are you sure he's mine? But still being high as a kite on Picatin and gas and air, I said, Husband, are you sure he's yours? Midwife freaked out. You can't say that. You can't say that. Husband, who had known me long enough to know my bad jokes, just looked at me, sighed, and shook his head. And that was the last chance I had to joke about his paternity. Kid is a total daddy clone, except for the hair. Story 4. Had a patient who came into the ER for a UTI with her boyfriend of four months. His words. She was 19, acting extremely dramatic for just having a UTI. We tell her we need urine. She urges us to cath her, which is really unusual, but she says she can't pee, so me and the other nurse assume the position and put in a catheter, with her lying on the gurney. At this point, nurse screams, Call Ellen D, she's crowning! Ellen D nurse gets in just in time to grab the child as it shoots out into her hands and is a living, breathing baby. The girl swears she had no idea she was pregnant. They wheel her off to postpartum and the guy's just kinda left standing there dumbstruck. We only had been dating for four months. I had no idea she was pregnant. She never mentioned it at all, as he just buried his head in his knees while he was sitting on the floor against the hallway wall. I felt so bad for the guy. Story 4. Anesthesiologist here. C-sections are typically done under spinal anesthesia, and we're the ones at the head of the table keeping the mother calm and talking her through the procedure while the surgeons operate. I've seen it more than once, but I remember one in particular when the parents were both very Caucasian and the baby was very not. The actual father obviously had to be dark-skinned. At delivery, when the not father saw the baby, he just looked down at his wife, who was starting to cry, and calmly said, You frickin' harlot, and walked out. She started screaming for him to come back, but there wasn't much she could do since she was, you know, still being operated on. She lost it to the point I eventually had to sedate her just a bit because she was in danger of injuring herself. As far as I know, her husband never came back to the hospital. I don't know what happened after that. Story 6. My brother had a surprise baby this way. He and a co-worker had a one-night stand while she was broken up with her ex. She gets back with her ex. Ends up pregnant. Flash forward to delivery day. The day my brother sends me a picture of a random baby out of the blue and says, I think I'm a dad. She is white. Her boyfriend is black. My brother is white. Boyfriend came out looking very, very white. I don't know how it went down in the hospital room, but I know they were separated very soon after. My brother went to visit her in the hospital and asked if she would let him take a paternity test. She agreed, and it came back positive a week later. And that's how I got my surprise nephew. Edit to answer questions and clarify some things. Everyone is fine. My brother took full responsibility from day one. They ended up dating, having another child together, and are now split but with full split custody, no courts involved. I know how genetics work. I have a mixed sister and mixed children. My kids are Mexican slash Puerto Rican and 11 kinds of European. They came out very brown and now pasty white like me. One has brown eyes and one has green eyes. I do understand everyone's experience may vary. When I say very, very white, I mean it. He was practically translucent. The baby looked just like my brother's baby photos, and nothing at all like the boyfriend. We kinda just knew, but still a test was the only way to know for sure. Everyone in our family was surprised of course, but we all embraced the situation with love and understanding. Story 7. Not exactly the situation you're asking for, but Reddit loves a good, crazy mother-in-law story. My dad is blonde and my mother is brunette. 
I came out of the womb with fiery red hair. My dad's mom made a huge fuss about my mom cheating on my dad and had to be escorted out of the hospital. My grandmother's own mother had flaming red hair, which apparently she had forgotten until my great-grandmother held me for the first time and said, I always wanted a baby with my red hair. Story 8. I have a white friend who was a superman of a dad. When his third child was born, she was obviously of mixed race. His white wife had an affair with a black man. The wife also had substance abuse issues before this pregnancy and was no longer dependable or stable as a mother. So my friend immediately divorced her and took custody of the kids. All of them. He's been raising his two biological kids and the third child who isn't even technically his for the past decade. She's his princess and he loves her exactly like the other two. Story 9. I'm of Irish descent. Extremely pale, freckled, wavy dark hair, and darker green eyes. My husband is half Native American, half German. Dark, dark hair, and slightly wavy as well. My daughter came out with light, light brown, curly hair, and ever so slight strawberry blonde pieces mixed throughout. Curls for days. And the nurse goes, wow, where did you get that hair? Knowing I had similar color as a baby and my mother has kinky curly hair, my husband in a room full of nurses goes, I don't know, where did she get that hair? I could have freaking killed him. Story 10. Not a doctor, but someone in my extended family had a baby. Two Middle Eastern parents that turned out to be dark skinned. The father of the baby filed for divorce, even though the mother kept saying the baby was his. A few years later, they found out that the mother's great grandmother was African and that the baby obtained strong genes from her. They didn't get back together because too much had gone down at that point, but the mother was right all along. I can't imagine going through a divorce fully with full knowledge that that baby is the husband's, but the husband just doesn't believe it and being vindicated down the line when it doesn't really matter. The relationship is ruined at that point, so yikes. Story 11. In high school, my gym teacher was married to the biology teacher, who was also really good friends with my math teacher. Always saw them chatting and walking together. Well, the bio teacher got pregnant, and when she brought the baby in, there was an unignorable resemblance to the math teacher. Her husband ended up driving to the nearest hospital and shooting himself dead in the parking lot was a big scandal at our relatively small private school. One of a few, actually. Well, that escalated stupidly fast. I was expecting a, a paternity test or a yelling match. Shooting himself in the parking lot? Yikes. Story 12. Not exactly cheating, but definitely an awkward situation. During my OB rotation in med school, I was caring for a patient with a very large family, the kind that all wanted to be part of the delivery process from beginning to end. They were having a baby girl, and the room was absolutely filled wall to wall with pink presents. Bassinets, blankets, clothing, embroidered quilts, you name it. Anyway, I deliver the baby, and I'm horrified, thinking there was some sort of mutation in the baby's genitalia. After my initial shock, I realized it was simply a perfectly normal-looking baby boy. The, congrats, it's a boy, was met with shock instead of excitement initially. But then everyone was so happy after understanding he was perfectly healthy. Apparently, even with good prenatal care, you can miss the male genitalia on ultrasounds about 1% of the time. Story 13. Obligatory, not a doctor slash nurse, but both of my parents have blonde hair. When I was born, my hair was strawberry blonde. My paternal grandparents lost their crap and accused my mom of cheating because red-tinted hair didn't run in their family. However, it ran in my mom's family with a redhead popping up every now and then. My paternal grandparents didn't know that. They just really hated my mom, so looked for excuses to drag her down. It wasn't until I stopped looking like a potato, as most newborns do, and started looking like a person when my dad's family features came through enough to make them apologize to my mom. Story 14. Not a cheating story, but my sister's friend was born fair skin with red hair and green hazel eyes. Both parents are dark skinned with black hair and brown eyes. When my mom gave birth, everyone in the room went silent. However, the father knew that his wife didn't cheat. Turned out his wife's great-great-grandmother had red hair and fair skin. However, hospital protocol made both parents get a DNA test and everything was okay. Story 15. I'm a nurse. I've seen quite a few situations where dad turns out to not be dad, but never because of the color of the newborn. I have, however, seen an absolute crap ton of kids who are born and don't look anything like the same ethnicity as their parents for days or sometimes a couple of weeks. Babies often look darker when they are born. Just saying, some of these anecdotal stories might not necessarily be true. Story 16. I was told this story by a nurse. Veracity might be clouded by time, but here we go. A birth of the couple's third child. The couple was white. The baby was obviously of Pacific Islander descent. Everyone went quiet. 
The nurse telling me the story said she took a moment of silence as she realized what had happened, then tried to act normally, but waiting for the outburst. She said the tension was unreal. The guy stared for a minute at the child that was very obviously not his. The mom was already in tears and talking very fast. The guy stood up, looked around for a minute, then left the room. Never said a word. He wasn't seen again at the hospital. The mom spent the rest of the day on her phone, and the nurse doesn't think she ever found him. The last part is even more distantly related gossip, but allegedly the father cut all ties immediately, speaking regarding care of his two actual kids only through his lawyer. If any of that's true, I take my hat off to this guy. When I hear a story about a dad getting up and just leaving calmly like this, a part of me is like, I bet they kinda knew beforehand. It seems like an almost calculated response, like, if the baby comes out not looking like mine, I know exactly what to do. Story 17. My brother married a half-Korean, half-white woman who had three girls to the same Mexican guy. The first girl looks Latina. The second girl looks Pacific Islander. The third girl has platinum blonde hair and icy blue eyes. They all look nothing alike, and yet if you look at their lineage, it makes sense. I don't know if this ever caused any issues between her and her ex, but I could understand if an eyebrow was raised in the third one. Now she has a fourth girl with my brother, and she looks nothing like the other three. Just standard brown hair, brown eyed white girl. I know this isn't super relevant to the question, but it always entertains me. Story 18. Okay, story from a friend of my brother's. She worked as a nurse and a woman and her husband came in. They were both white and she delivered a child that was black. The husband immediately starts saying, what the hell, while she is going on and on about dormant traits and everything. He orders a DNA test. While this is going on, her mother and stepdad show up. The stepdad is black. After the testing is done, the DNA test ends up showing that the baby is the stepdad's. Her husband instantly dropped her and cut ties. What a fantastic strategy for speedrunning ruining relationships. Two in one go? That's a sweet combo. Story 19. A friend of mine tells the story of his aunt giving birth, in the 1970s or 80s, to a baby that at first glance appeared to be of Asian descent. Aunt and her husband are both Caucasian Midwesterners from long lines of the same sort, going back to Germany. There was evidently a shocked moment, and then the aunt's father, my friend's grandfather, quipped, well, they say one in seven babies is born Chinese, and everyone laughed. The tension broke long enough for the doctor, also a white Midwesterner of German stock, said that likely the kid's color is just off due to the events of the birth. The baby is now a man in his 30s or 40s and looks just like your typical Midwesterner. He just had some tinge to his skin for a few hours following the birth, plus some dark hair at birth that has since lightened up. Story 20. Paramedic here. Our crew delivered a full birth in the back of our rig. We have two paramedics in the back with the PT, a driver, and I'm working on the laptop listening to info they're telling me to add to the report. All of a sudden, it goes kind of quiet. I hear the mother let out a very loud, Oh crap, it's not white! She was very white. Few more seconds of silence and I'm like, what? The driver alarm, a beeping light on the center console sent from a button in the back, was pressed two times quickly, generally meaning to turn around to get info for the report. I turn from the front passenger seat to see a very dark skin colored baby, I'm guessing Cuban. I can't see the mother's face, but all I see is her shaking her head. She begins to worry, saying that, My husband is meeting us there at the hospital, he can't see this! I just continue the report, and I'm not sure what the problem is, but I guess we'll see when we get there. Flash forward to the ER. We stop outside the ambulance bay. I get out to open the doors and am met by a very white, heavy-set guy in a uniform shirt, dress pants, and glasses. He asked me if his wife was in there, and he said that she was in labor when he was coming home. Hospital policy dictates that we can't have random people that we can't confirm identity that close to the rig when opening doors for patient safety. Security is there quick, holds him back a bit. We open the doors, roll the patient and her newborn out. He takes one look, sees the color of the baby. Jaw drop. Look of despair. Like a 1,000 yard stare. Even security had a look like, wow, that woman screwed up and this guy knows it now. Babe, I can explain every bit of this. I know it looks weird, but I can. We wheel her into the ER. No sign of husband. Last I knew, the husband didn't check into the hospital as a visitor. I'm assuming he went home to pack his stuff. Story 21. Not my story, it's the story of my dad's friend. In high school, my dad's friend Carl was always into this girl, Cindy, but she was always dating this one guy, Jimmy. Jimmy breaks up with Cindy and she goes off the rails sleeping with everyone. Carl sees it as a good chance to be the good guy and starts dating her. I'm not sure, but they either had a Ross and Rachel thing where they kept on breaking up and getting back together, she broke up with him, or that she was always cheating on him. 
especially if Jimmy was hinting at them getting back together. They never did, though, and he'd just sleep with her. But Carl never listened to my dad or his friends because of blind love. She was perfect in his eyes. So high school is over and Carl goes to the army. They weren't officially dating, but every time he was able to come back, he'd end up with her for a night or two. My dad and his friends knew that she was sleeping around the whole time, but Carl didn't care. Eventually, while he was still serving, she convinced him that they were dating again. He proposed to her and she looked around for a house for them that he paid for with his army money. He comes back for good and they get married. A year later, they have a beautiful baby girl together. That baby girl is his everything. This guy grew up a migrant worker and now he has his high school sweetheart, a home, a decent job, and his own little princess. Five years later, his wife gets pregnant again. This time, she has a baby boy. Now he has to start working more to be able to care for the new baby while mom continues to be a stay-at-home mom. When the son is around two and the girl is around seven, he comes home to divorce papers and all of his clothes packed up. Turns out that the lovely house the wife had to have was because it made her the next-door neighbor to Jimmy. This entire time, she was still sleeping with him despite him also having a partner. The little girl and baby boy Carl thought were his weren't. They were Jimmy's kids and Cindy knew it. Jimmy's partner had left him, so he finally wanted to be a family man and Cindy jumped at the chance, kicking out Carl and divorcing him. He went into a depression and ended up losing his job because of it. I'm not sure what happened after that, but I hope Carl found a nice loving girl in the end. Edit. I just wanted to add that this was a story, it really did happen, that my dad had told me when my ex-boyfriend cheated on me, and I was thinking about getting back together with him again because he was oh so sorry. My dad had to watch as his friend went through all of this, and they couldn't do anything because he didn't want to be saved. He didn't want the same thing happening to me. So that's why he talked to me about this when I was 14 and dating a known player. My parents are very big on learn from my mistakes, and I'm very grateful for that. Though in this instance, it was learned from my friend's mistakes. Especially since, had I not been told this, I would have had the exact same thing happen to me, but with him having kids with other women. So those of you saying things like, he was asking for it, and how could he get her to respect him when not even he did? You're right. If all your friends are telling you someone isn't good for you, listen to them. Edit 2. A lot of people seem confused. First off, Carl stopped serving right before they got married, but he still worked in a job that requires long hours and Cindy was a stay-at-home mom, so she still had plenty of time to cheat, even though he was no longer gone for months or weeks on end. Second, I was pretty young when my dad told me this, so I didn't think to ask how come he never thought it was weird that the neighbor happened to be Cindy's ex. I just thought he must have thought it was one hell of a coincidence. As someone else said, it's hard to see the truth when you're wearing rose-tinted glasses. Third, as for the house situation, that's also foggy. I'm not sure if he felt bad about having to kick them out, I think Jimmy was only renting the house next door, or if he thought that letting her have the house would make her change her mind, or if even though they used his money to buy it, it was under her name. Fourth, I think he still tried to be in the kid's life afterwards, but neither of the birth parents wanted him to, and despite the fact that he truly did love them, he just couldn't look at them without being reminded of what had happened. This story mostly speaks for itself, but I wanted to add one important thing. Ahem, <clears throat> that's rough, buddy. Story 22. My wife's best friend is a doctor who delivers babies. I'll ask and get back. Edit. A couple of stories came in. She delivered one baby where the father and mother were acting really awkward, but he was around during labor, and when it came time to push, the man just walked out and left the room. Apparently, the issue was they were just friends, and he lived in another state with his wife and kids. Another woman had an affair with her cousin's husband and got pregnant calling him her fiancé. Her own husband died during this period and it prompted her to go out and sleep with a few other one-night stands. At this point, she tried to get an abortion, but she was turned away because she was overweight and hypertensive, making the procedure too risky. She never followed up with the doctor and gained weight to over 400 pounds. It was too late for an abortion at this point and she had been taking medication for the hypertensive thing. And the medication can cause death and deformities. When she delivered, it took the entire staff to prevent her from having a stroke and the baby's kidneys? Do they work? No one knows. Most of the stories are that the man cheated. If the mother cheats, there's no real reason to bring it up, so they don't really know. Lots of having to tell a mother who has only slept with one man that she and her baby have chlamydia. No weird stories of white babies to black parents or vice versa. Also, if my wife's friend sees this, she will know who it is. Please just don't go through my history and judge me for my crayon-colored Pokemon picture. I think this happened in the first story too, but I just wanted to say how terrible it would be to find out that you have an STI because your partner was cheating on you. And finding out that the baby has it too because the partner didn't tell you anything. That's such a terrible situation to be in. Honestly, just screw people who cheat. It's so easy not to. And yet, here we are.